Are you able to tell which is the real one and which is the fake one? The real one is on the right. These counterfeit $50 bills were seized from a Belmont house during a search this week, police charging a 33-year-old man. I will allege that on gaining entry, the uh, offender was actually engaged in the process of manufacturing some of the counterfeit currency that you see before you. Uh, and during that uh, entry, he's attempted to destroy some of the currency. You'll notice some of it's ripped up and crumpled up. And he's also smashed uh, some of his electronic equipment he was using at the time. Around 200 fake notes in various stages of completion and 81 completed fake notes have been seized. Police warning shop owners to be vigilant. Particularly if people come in and buy small value items such as a drink or a chocolate bar and pay with a $50 note, that would generally be something that would raise our suspicion because obviously then they hand over the counterfeit currency and they receive a majority of genuine currency in return. Look, at the, at the end of the day, if someone hands uh, you a counterfeit note, obviously there's no obligation on you to accept it. Uh, but if you do recognise that a note is counterfeit after it's been received, uh, the best thing to do is try not to handle it uh, too much, uh, as opposed to what's already been handled, and notify police. And uh, we will generally make an assessment of it and forward it to the Australian Federal Police to keep track of these matters.